one of the things I have to say to you before we start is I've done some research um, on the venue. I did that this morning. And I found that between October 1940 and June 1941, within 100 yards of where we're sitting, there were six bombs dropped. Now, five of those bombs were high-impact bombs, and one was a parachute mine. And these are just the bombs we know about. So because of this, I'm wearing two pairs of underpants. <laughs> and I just want you to know, if you hear any ticking, right, we're off. All right? So I'm going to talk about um, sticking to the knitting. But before I do that, I just do a short poll. So I'd like you all to stand. Now, if you've got, if you've got a whole school responsibility... For learning and teaching, I'd like you to stay standing, please. Otherwise, sit down. Okay. So, of those who are standing, who've got a whole school responsibility for learning and teaching, stay standing, please, if it's written in to your job description. But he's just, he's just discovered he's got a responsibility he didn't know he had. Stay standing, please, if it's written into your job description. Okay. For those of you who've got whole school responsibility for learning and teaching, it's written into your job description. Stay standing, please, if it appears in your job title. Okay? For those of you who've got a whole school responsibility for learning and teaching, it's written into your job description. It's part of your title. Stay standing, please, if your school has agreed definition of what great learning and teaching looks like that's been expressed and is written up and all staff know about it. <laughs> you see, it's a, really, it's a really difficult call. Thank you, just please say, it's a really difficult call to do your job when we haven't defined what that job might be. So, one of the things I'm finding in my visits to schools, and um, I've been to a few, is that people are, do not stick to the knitting. They deviate from core purpose. They're swayed by initiatives and developments, some of their own choosing, some that others have imposed on them, and it's very hard to stay focused. So I've got five things that you need to do as a leadership team to stay focused. Stick to the knitting. Where does the phrase come from? It comes from the terrible knitters of Dent. Dent is a village that's near Sedberg, which is in northwest of England. And in the 18th century, it became notorious because this was a village where men and women would knit all day long. They had a, a little waistband with a pouch, a needle, and they would knit all day long because the knitting generated revenue so that they could stay alive. But in addition to the knitting, they would feed babies, they'd milk cows, They'd shear sheep, they'd stir pots, but they always stuck to the knitting. Now, your knitting, as far as I'm concerned, is to plan, deliver, evaluate, and improve quality learning experiences for every child that's in your care. Everything else is puff. Puff. We saw, we saw a statistic earlier about well-being and the difference between 2011 and 2012. Well, if you're not assessed on it, if you're not respected on it, then it really is a test of how much you value it. How many of you are still doing pelts? Right. You see, it's a real test. Now, the first C of the five Cs, core purpose. Core purpose. Define it. Revisit it. Publish it. Promote it. Harrow School for Infants, not only do they do this for staff, they share the staff development plan with the children. And the children write to the parents on how they're going to help the staff, the adults, deliver the staff development plan. Right? Go public. Next, be clear, clarity on what great learning and teaching look like. If you're at Paddington Academy, you have the Paddington 10 plus 3. It's in every classroom. Ten features of great learning and teaching here at Paddington Academy. There's versions for it for children. Yes. If you go to Manual College in Gateshead, Sebast uh, St. John the Baptist School in Woking, you see this. So clear about what great learning looks and feels like. Next, 
coherence across the piece. So this is like planning and challenging. What do we do collectively to plan great learning experiences? Is there a learning planner that is based on principles of learning? Most lesson plans are elongated to-do lists. That's what they are. And we've been disinherited to some degree by the national strategies in this. So lesson planners that are based on how children learn. Next, so we've got core purpose, clarity, coherence, consistency. On a daily basis, can we do this? Can you do it on a daily basis? For your leadership team, have five different leadership behaviors that you exhibit, you agree on, and every time you have a leadership meeting, challenge yourselves. To what extent are we doing this? Ask yourselves. And finally, community. Community underpins it all. Community is that bit where you feel you are doing something that is more significant than you as an individual or the organization itself. And schools do not trade in exam passes and SAT scores. They trade in hope. And every day that you turn up to work and you're part of that leadership team, you're doing that. So stick to the, the knitting. If you've ever been in your life to the Bridge Hotel in Newcastle on a Thursday night, you'll see a group of women sat in the corner knitting. They're there from about 7 o'clock to quarter past 10. Some of them drink pints, some of them drink Earl Grey tea, but all night long they do a number of things, but they knit. So my message to you, the five C's, stick to the knitting. Stick to the knitting and secure success. Thank you.